It never fails. Every month I get a question from someone and they ask, Derek, should I be building my email list or my social media profiles? And you know what? Here's the answer. If you're not building your email list, you're an idiot. How do I know this? I'm Derek Halpern, the founder of Social Triggers, and I still want to hit my head against the wall for not building my email list sooner on every single one of my websites. So let's get into it. I've got two numbers for you, 300 and 4200. Okay, a few months ago when I updated my Twitter account and I sent a link to my Twitter followers, I sent about 300 clicks to my website. But when I shared that same link to a similar amount of email subscribers, I sent 4200 clicks to my website. Now I know you can't spend clicks, but those clicks are people. The more people you get to your website, the more money you can make. More people, more clicks, more money. Why does email outperform Twitter by such a large margin? Even though you're sending links to the same amount of people, look at it like this. How many emails do people get per day? A hundred? How many Twitter updates do they get per day? Thousands? What's more likely to be seen? One in a hundred or one in a thousand? Obviously one in a hundred. That said, I know I'm talking about Twitter right now, but I've seen the same exact thing with Facebook and Google Plus. If I send an update to my Facebook or Google Plus following, I find that it drastically underperforms email as well. Now, since email performs so much better than social media, you would think Building an email list is harder, but in my experience, that's not the case. As a matter of fact, I think building a social media following is harder than building an email list. I'll explain. When I sent about a thousand clicks to an opt-in page, about 50% of those people then went ahead and opted into my email. So a thousand people, 50%, 500 people became email subscribers. On a whole other twist of fate, when I sent a thousand clicks to my Twitter page, I didn't even gain 500 new followers. The Twitter page actually underperformed an email opt-in page. People were seemingly less likely to follow me on Twitter than they were to subscribe to my email. Now this is strange because email crushes social media. The question is, how can you begin growing your email list? It turns out that people can start growing their list today with these two simple strategies. Number one, add opt-in forms to the right places on your website. All right, that's it. Seriously, just add opt-in forms to the right places. One of my readers, Laura of momables.com, followed my advice on where to place opt-in forms and here's what happened. She went from getting between five and eight email subscribers per day, new email subscribers, between five and eight email subscribers to 25 to 38 email subscribers per day. That's a huge increase, all by adding the email forms to the right places on her website. So where are the right places to add the email sign-up forms? I'd add one to the top of your sidebar, one to the top of your pages, and one on your about page. And I'd even consider using a pop-up. And number two, I'd eliminate clutter from your web design because I believe clutter is the number one conversion killer on web designs, all right? And I've talked about this study before, but to really drive this point home, Sheena Iyengar did this famous jam study where she discovered that people, when confronted with too many different decisions to make, too many options, they tend to walk away from that decision process and choose no options. So when you have a cluttered website and there's too many things for people to click on, people often decide to click on nothing and leave your site never to return. And check it, the same goes for email sign-up forms. If there's too much clutter on your website, people are not gonna sign up for your mailing list because they're gonna be overwhelmed with too many options. So are you building your email list as your main priority? If yes, congratulations. Go ahead and leave a comment below this video letting me know how it's working for you. If no, I wanna hear about that too, but I have a fair warning I might make fun of you. That said, do you know anyone who is not building their email list as their main priority? Go ahead and send them a link to this video to help change their mind. They'll probably thank you and me later.
And here's my blatant self-promotion telling you to go to socialtriggers.com to get on my email list because building my email list is priority number one. Not only are you going to get more Social Triggers TV episodes just like this, you'll gain access to premium training material that I only make available for email list subscribers. And now I want to make it rain subscribe boxes. Are you kidding me right now? Looks like I have a nipple. A huge nipple.